Hey guys, K Dog three fifty seven coming to you here. Today is Tuesday, uh, September the twenty fifth. Um, we took in something new yesterday uh, that I like to show you. It looks like a Tech Nine. It's made by a company called Intratech, and they call this the Tech DC Nine. Uh, it's in extremely good condition. This is a consignment gun, so consignment means out the door price. He wants eight forty nine for it. Um, so check this out here. This is actually a barrel extension that's on here, so comes right off. It's also got a uh, flash hider on here as well uh, that comes with it. I could screw that on there, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, magazines, five magazines. Uh, I think four of them are high capacity magazines like this. It's chambered in nine millimeter. Uh, this is a really cool piece. Comes with the original box, um, also a sling. This is in excellent condition. Customers asking eight forty nine for the gun. In excellent, excellent shape. It's just been in his bag for uh, a number of years. Hadn't even been shot all that much. And I looked on Gun Broker and compared to some of the others I see on there, this one is probably in better condition than any of them that I've seen. So we'll have this displayed in the showcase here. Also, don't forget what I mentioned yesterday about our um, our financing now that we offer on firearms. We partner with Time Financing here in Sanford, and uh, it's a minimum of $300. Uh, so just typically from $300 to $1,000 on a gun, uh, they'll let you go start at uh, six months, I believe all the way out to 18 months. So come on by and we'll give you more details on that. Uh, so they pay us, okay? You just come in here, the application all takes maybe about 10, 15 minutes, and we'll know something within a few minutes, okay? Especially since they're local. Um, so come on by. If, there's, if that firearm that you've been looking at has been just a little bit out of your reach financially, we can make it a lot easier for you for some easy payment plan. Uh, years and years ago, uh, I sold cars. I'm, gosh, a long time ago. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody come in that, that uh, you know, financed a car, you know, all they really wanted to know is what their payment was. You know, I just need my payment to be this or that. Well, we run some numbers on some different things uh, on firearm prices and things like that. Um, and woo, we're talking about some really low payments, so it's not going to hurt your pocketbook. You just spread it out. So I don't think there's too many gun shops around that offer uh, financing on firearms, but... We do, and we implemented that yesterday. So that's all in place. Come on by and ask us more about it. Uh, also, don't forget, we are giving away a Remington a 700 Wood Tech chambered in 270 Winchester. We'll be giving that away October the 1st. So come on by and get your chance to win that. It's only a buck to win that. And uh, somebody's gonna win, okay? And as I've said many times before, sometimes folks just spend a dollar. Uh, some folks spend ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars. You know, obviously, if you buy fifty dollars worth, you get fifty tickets. You get fifty more chances. In theory, I guess, increasing your chances to win. But like I said, I've seen people win it. Um, you know, with one ticket, just as quick as I have seen people win it, where they bought ten or twenty or thirty tickets. So uh, it's all fair there. And also, let me uh, step over here. Um, we have one of our real nice customers. Uh, we're moving up in the world now. <laughs> Instead of me reaching in the box and uh, kind of swishing it around with my hand, uh, he gave us a little uh, a ticket mixer up or whatever you want to call this thing, okay? Um, and that way you see me spinning it and pulling out, which I know you all know I'm not uh, getting paid off or anything like that to to pull somebody's ticket out. But, um, you know, I want to make it look as fair as it can be because we did have one person um, that won twice um, within that year. But I promise you, uh, so help me to the good Lord, all I was doing was just mixing it around and pulled it out. And that was just incredible uh, that I pulled his name out twice within, I guess, about a month, nine to 12 month period. So if he wins again, you know, that, that's one reason why I'm glad I got that you. If he wins again, you'll see. Ain't no flim-flam uh, hoodooing mess going on around here at the gun shop. So uh, I'm going to get off here. Um, I've got uh, a couple of guns I'm working on back there that I'm trying to get done, get finished today uh, for a customer. Yes, we do uh, gunsmithing here. Um, 
you know, mainly uh, in the order of cleaning it real good, putting sights on, repairs, scopes on, things like that. I mean, I don't do any milling or lathing or anything like that, but, you know, uh, fixing guns and cleaning them, that's something I enjoy doing. And, uh, you know, as long as I can get parts for it and things like that, um, you know, we can do it. So uh, if you got a question, uh, obviously, you know, I need you to bring your gun by and uh, let me check it out. And you're probably going to have to leave it, you know, so but that's not a problem. But uh, we'll be glad to help you with that. You know, gunsmiths are hard to find. I'm not telling you I'm a master gunsmith or anything like that. I just use some common sense and, and uh, you know, I've been around guns for a while, but I don't know it all. And if there's something that's out of my expertise, and I'm certainly not saying I'm an expert or anything, I won't do it. You know, I'm not going to experiment on your gun. Um, I've got one other gentleman that's a really good friend of mine, and uh, he's been doing guns all his life, so uh, if I can't fix it, uh, he very well probably can. So I'm really going to have to stop now because uh, I smell the toaster strudels. You know, I done got off the Pop-Tart thing, and now I'm on toaster strudels. And Lori's brought them out here, and they just come out of the oven, and she's putting the glaze on it and all that. And that's really, really good with my McCafe McDonald's French Vanilla coffee uh, the breakfast of champions for someone that has diabetes all this sugar I know I'm still working on it I have type 2 not type 1 but if I don't quit the sweets I might end up being type 1 Lori's looking at me like yeah so <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that have diabetes though a ton of people otherwise you wouldn't see these commercials on TV but I tell you, that's been one of the hardest things for me to do is to change my eating habits. i never forget when I got diagnosed, my doctor told me, oh, all you got to do is just cut out this and that. Oh, okay. That's easier said than done, folks. Uh, any of you that got diabetes out there, I'm sure uh, you, you uh, share the same thoughts that I have about it. It's hard. It's hard. I was majorly addicted to Mountain Dew. In fact, when I got diagnosed, you know, I said, okay, I quit all this stuff. And all of a sudden, I just went berserko. And I said, well, if I got to quit this stuff since I just got diagnosed, for the time being, I'm going to have all I want. So, man, I just went crazy on sodas. And you can ask my wife, you ever come in here? M&Ms, yep. Uh, I haven't had an M&M in, like, forever. But I'm the kind of guy... Um, I have like a little bit of an addictive personality, you know, I'm ADD, probably ADHD and all that too. And uh, yeah, I know Lori says, you, you need to cut it out, you don't need to give them all your medical history and all that. I don't, but hey, I mean, hey, you know, it seems like the older you get, the less you care about what people think. <laughs> you know, if I was 21 doing this, I, I wouldn't have told you none of it, but uh, it ain't that I don't care, but you don't care. The older you get, you just don't care as much about what people think, you know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get out of here. Don't forget our phone number is 919-708-5475. Our next concealed carry class is October the 6th. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be teaching that class. Well, yeah, we hope. Um, we got to do a little bit of, we, we've got a problem with uh, getting help here and there and getting the store covered that day. Don't worry about it. We are holding a concealed carry class October the 6th and October the 20th, 49 bucks. Uh, don't forget to visit my website at carolinafirearmstraining.com. That's how you sign up for courses. And we also have our online store there as well. And we are located at 1606 Westover Drive, Sanford, NC, 27330. We will be uh, holding a free safety uh, church safety seminar, security seminar for churches that are starting teams. And also, I'm going to be speaking at Beacon Baptist Church on Trayrick Road in Raleigh, uh, October the 18th. That church seats up to about 1,600 people, and the pastor there has uh, also invited other churches in the area to attend. I'm uh, basically doing the same seminar that I do here on uh, the last Thursday of every month from 7 to 10. I'll be doing it up there from 6.30 to 9.30 at Beacon Baptist Church on Trayrick Road, October the 18th. So we're really going to start advertising that. The pastor's advertising that as well up in the Raleigh area. All right, so uh, Toast Strudels is calling my name. So until I see you next time, stay armed and stay safe.